my awakening to privilege. It's Wednesday evening in Ogumosho. I'm sitting in the car parked by the side of the road. My son looking out the window for the short duration. His mom went to pick some items in the market. I'm distracted from most of what he is doing because I'm reading some Paul Graham essays that are engaging and insightful at the same time. I have just read a sentence that bears reflection and so I cast my gaze outside the window to stare into space. My eyes drift to my son and I follow the angle of his head. I see a young girl bent over a basin beside her mom. They are both washing tomatoes for display on the wooden table beside them. My son is looking intently at them. He is a child and I feel I can enter into his mind and know what he is thinking. He has never done what he has seen before. I am certain his curiosity is spiked and he sees this as an adventure. Something he wouldn't mind trading places with the girl for. I feel is an uncertain, I feel a certain unease. For him, it will ever only be a choice if he wants to carry out such a task. For her, it's what life looks like. It's duty and a choiceless one. My mind goes on a journey. Just some minutes before this, this experience, my wife and a younger sister are talking about the type of fish I eat. It's not cheap. Recently, beef was, wasn't doing it for me and I'm not the biggest fan of chicken. My wife was in a dilemma about what should accompany my meals until we stumbled upon the fish. The price has recently doubled and I don't still consider it out of reach. My privilege stares me in the face. It makes me ponder on what privilege is and how blind we can be to the lived experiences of others to the point where when some say the country is hard, we also want to join in the chorus and say it is. But it is obvious that hard is different from hard. Mm. I'm thinking of how to never fall back into the out of touch place I just discovered myself in. My mind races towards called white privilege and I see how this could easily creep up on people. It seems so easy to point it out in another, but then the inescapable log lodges snugly in our blinded eyes. I so blinded to our privileges that we are also as guilty as those accused of white privilege. What I realize is that I must acknowledge my privilege and commit to never losing sight of it to the point where I invalidate others' experiences on one hand or even hurt them on the other. If I do this while keeping my agency intact, I'll be able to work to create more value, which will lead to more financial abundance. However, my constant awareness of my privilege will ensure that I do not lose sight of helping as many people as I can to rise to better estates in life. It will help me help others to have more choices as they make their way through life. It will ensure I do not pay mere lip service to my desire to broker shared prosperity, but actually walk the talk. I hope these thoughts spark extensive conversations someday and help others embark on self-audits to determine their privileges and lead them to continual consciousness of them all while bringing to the fore chaotic presence. Thank you.